Sin is sin, and sin will be judged. There's no ifs, ands, nor buts about it. God is a holy God, and so is his kingdom. Sin has no place in the kingdom of God. Unrighteousness and uncleanness has no place in the kingdom of God. The devil's tactics will not win over God nor his kingdom. For the kingdom of darkness shall be defeated. And it was at Calvary's cross. When Jesus breathed his last breath, darkness was defeated. Death was conquered. And now those who are in Christ are alive forevermore. But sin is sin. No matter how you sway it, no matter how people edit it, people think there's different measures of sin, and there's sin bigger than others. I have news. Every sin is the same in the eyes of God. It's all damnable. If you are in sin, you will not enter the kingdom of God. It don't matter if you've only lied and someone's committed murder. God says, if you've even hated a person, you have committed murder. And that is what the Word says. No sin is exempt from damnation. No sin will not be judged. Every sin is unjust in the eyes of God, for He is holy. So today I'm going to give you guys the word that God gave me to give to you. And it's all judgment that's going to come upon the earth. And regardless of point of views, God's word remains true. You see, we live in a society today, and I don't know where this happened. But we live in a society today where the Bible is evil, God is wrong, Jesus didn't die, the Holy Spirit's blocked out. And if you believe in that whole Trinity thing that in that Bible, well, you're wicked, we're right, you blasphemers, we're not. Before Jesus came, if you talked against the Bible, or if you talked against God, they would stone you to death. They would literally kill you because you blasphemed God. And yet today, evil is seen as good, and good is seen as evil. And no one in the church has an issue with this. No one's getting up, standing up for God the way He stood up for you at Calvary. Why is it so hard to stand up for God when He did it at Calvary and He doesn't require you to die on His behalf? He never required you to go be crucified on a cross walking down Golgotha after you've been flogged. We are in a crisis. I'm not talking about the coronavirus or COVID-19. I'm not talking about any diseases or viruses. I'm not even talking about people that are evil in mind, the who, who would kill other people. I'm not talking about that. Because we have an enemy who's not in flesh and bone, who is not man, who is like a disease and is like a virus but is not seen and no one cares to see him as a threat he would be the devil he would be Satan and yet no one is as scared of that pandemic as COVID-19 we are in danger we're in grave Danger. I love how these pastors say that these aren't the end times, that these aren't the last days, and yet the earth and everything within it proclaims that these are the last days. I don't know how you can read the Bible, look at this world, and say, these aren't the last days. Wake up before it's too late, because the Son of God is coming again. 
the church will be raptured, the tribulation is coming, and the second coming will come. Just you wait. Sin is going to be judged. Sin is going to be condemned. The holy and pure and righteous and redeemed of God will rise up in heaven and be with our master. So what did God give me as far as prophecy a few days ago? He said that there's going to be a mighty rain. Agree with what this is or don't agree with it. It does not matter. God's word is final. Not even the devil can take away God's stamp. There is going to come a mighty rain. And in that mighty rain will be the blood of the aborted. Every drop of that rain, if it hits your skin, will burn you. Their blood will blister and burn man's skin. You don't have to believe what I'm saying, but when it comes to pass, you will believe what I have said. Right now, I'm the crazy man telling everybody to get on the ark because there's a flood coming. I'm trying to warn and no one's trying to listen. I'm trying to prevent people from being injured and no one wants to listen. Yet the flood is coming and if you don't get on the ark, you're going to drown. If you look, if you turn back and look to, at Simon Gomorrah, you're going to turn into a pillar of salt. So listen, I'm not condemning you. I say be aware, be awake, realize that sin is going to be judged and if no one ever told you that then they aren't telling you the truth and they don't care about you if no one's ever told you that sin's going to be judged by a holy God then they've never preached they've never loved you for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him could have everlasting life and not perish I believe what the Bible says. I believe what God says. I believe there's a Holy Ghost. I believe there's the Son of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I believe there's a Father who loves unconditionally and has mercy. I believe in the Holy as much as I do in the evil. So when God speaks, I believe Him. And I don't take it as, as his word right off the bat. I take time to wait for confirmation. And once I've known that I know for a fact that it's his voice, then I get on here and I proclaim what God has spoken to me because that's how a pastor should be preaching. If your pastor is not preaching the full doctrine, he's not preaching the doctrine at all. If he's not preaching about the last days and where we are in prophecy that he's not preaching at all there are so many feel good pastors out there there are so many false prophets so many pastors behind the pulpit with the spirit of an antichrist and no one's alarmed by it but when COVID-19 comes oh we're scared but we're not scared of the cancer that is the devil Wake up, for the kingdom of God is at hand. And if you don't wake up now, you will have to go through the tribulation. And if you don't wake up in the tribulation, then you will go to hell. Jesus Christ is coming back. Jesus Christ will return and he will take a holy bride who is righteous and redeemed. He won't take anyone who isn't. He won't take a sinner to heaven. You must be redeemed in the blood of the Lamb. And anyone who's not preaching that is not a preacher at all. Nice.
say and claim that they're pastors and claim that they're ministers and claim that they're evangelists and claim that they know God. But do they really? Because if they knew God, they would know that these are the last days. They would know that the rapture is taking place. They would know that the tribulation is taking place. They would not preach a feel good Christianity. They would not endorse homosexuality and say, Come as you are. God will not judge you. So we will not do that either. It's not called judging, it's heaven. It's judging unrighteousness in righteous ways. So wake up. The blood of the aborted will burn the skin of men. And that is the word of the Lord. Be awake. Be aware. For the kingdom of God is at hand. See you guys next week. Hope you listen to this message and don't turn a blind eye and a deaf ear to it. Listen and listen good. The wormwood prophecy is going to take place. There is coming six months of pure darkness where the sun will not shine. There is coming a mighty rain where the blood of that rain is the blood of the aborted. There's coming great judgments by a mighty God who has sat and had to watch sin go rapid through the road. I hope you guys listen to this message. I hope you don't turn a blind eye and deaf ear to it. Because I'm not telling you anything that ain't true. I'm not going to give you a sure code of Christianity preaching doctrine anymore. I'm not going to go around corners to avoid from offending people. If you've got to leave the church, if you've got to leave, leave the congregation, then go ahead. It's up to you. But what I preach is the truth. What I preach is the gospel. What I preach will get you into the kingdom of God. I'm not condemning any of you. I'm condemning the false prophets and those with the spirit of an antichrist who stand behind a pulpit and don't have the guts to preach because they're scared of what the government might do. They're scared of persecution. They're scared to answer to a power higher than them. Like I said, I'm not condemning any of you. But what I am saying, if you're not yet saved, please, I beg you, come to Jesus Christ. There's no more time to wait. And you may not have ever heard, you might not have heard until today that the rapture is taking place soon. It is a pre-tribulation rapture. It's not post-tribulation. Did you know that there are literal pastors preaching the doctrine that Lucifer was the brother to Jesus Christ? Are you guys aware of what's out there today? There are literal people out there today saying they are Jesus Christ. That he's here. That it, it's just, it, it's crazy. It's pure madness. We should have eyes to see and ears to hear, but we don't want anything to do but change. Because we like the way it feels. It's called the flesh. I'd rather please God than please the flesh any day of the week. I'd rather please God than my flesh. I'd rather be in a casket than in hell. I'd rather not have my air in my lungs and be burning in a pit. That's the truth. Love you guys. Not condemning you. Trying to help you realize God's coming back. It's coming back very soon. And there's judgment coming. Believe me, he said so. God is not a liar. If it was, it wouldn't be God. Your sin has no place in that kingdom. Thank you guys for listening to this message, this sermon. 
See you next time.